This year, the Red Sox Foundation is celebrating its 15th anniversary. So much impactful work done in that time. Here's a look at some of the successes brought on by that philanthropy. As April sweeps away the winter in New England, boys and girls dream of playing ball. We provide bats, baseballs, and volunteer coaches to hundreds of inner city kids. And we support 200 Little League teams throughout Massachusetts. Boys and girls in Boston dream of going to college. We offer scholarships to help make those dreams come true. And we give server scholarships to students who give back to their own communities in other New England states. Brave men and women serve our nation and too many suffer the invisible wounds of war. Home Base provides treatment to our wounded warriors and their families. Medical heroes treat the underserved in the heart of the city. They provide essential health services for children and adults and addiction treatment for those trying to get their lives back. Brave children and adults fight the battle of their lives. We are there to offer a smile, a hug, and lots of love. And we raise millions for care and life-saving research to beat cancer. These are the cornerstones of the Red Sox Foundation. Support for thousands of children and families throughout New England and Lee County, Florida. Over $82 million in charitable activity. This is the mission and passion of the Red Sox Foundation, making dreams come true for the families of New England. And here on Yawkey Way, we continue to get ready for Red Sox baseball. And joining us now is the chairman of the Red Sox, Tom Warner. Uh, you know, when you, when you came in with this ownership group in 2002, I remember one of the first things you talked about is the importance that this team, this franchise, your stewardship would have in the community. How proud of you uh, are you of the work being done by the foundation? Proud. The uh, uh, club is obviously the, the center and of, of, of uh, why fans uh, love the Red Sox. But beyond that, I think we have made an incredible impact on, on thousands of lives, uh, whether it's veterans or uh, people who are suffering um, cancer, uh, children in uh, Boston Public Schools. Uh, you know, I, I know it's, uh, it's uh, important to touch one live. I know we've touched thousands of lives and uh, we've given away over a hundred million dollars and uh, I think we're the largest philanthropy in um, all of sports and we're very proud of that. We heard the voice of honorary chairman Tim Wakefield in that piece detailing the work done a hundred million dollars. I know that far surpassed anything you might have thought was possible originally. Well, we, we were we were asked to uh, pledge 20 and we said well you know we're, we're gonna blow past that. Just last Saturday uh, I was with uh, Tim Wakefield at uh, the Make-A-Wish uh, dinner, and to, to hear the, the way that uh, Make-A-Wish has really helped uh, over 200 uh, uh, children who, who, who were suffering with, with challenging diseases. So, we, you know, you, we know that when, when David Ortiz, uh, you know, takes out a moment to, to, to touch someone's life, that, that it's a meaningful thing. So we're happy to, to be part of this and, and uh, we're, we're going to keep going. I know sometimes it seems relatively simple. You discover a need and you act on it. But none of this is simple. None of it is easy. The home base program comes to mind. I know when you went to the Walter Reed Hospital a couple of times there in 05 and, and 08 after the championships, you were profoundly struck by, by the, the need to help our veterans coming back. But the growth of this program uh, has to blow you away because well, so many veterans have been helped now. Well, we're really excited about it because we know that uh, we are really uh, effective and uh, and these people who were you know friends of yours friends of ours friends of mine they come back from from these conflicts and and it, it's very challenging and and we know that uh, you know I get letters all the time and I, I see see people from all over the country who say you know you are creating the model program and you're doing things that challenging for the VA to do and and you're saving lives so it's very gratifying 
I also know that you take the importance of baseball in the community. And when you look at the RBI program that Major League Baseball has done, some of the work, I know there are new batting cages going into parts. Jim Rice Field has been a jewel here in the city. That's a big part of, uh, well, that might not be money as it's being spent elsewhere, but the seed money there is bringing the next generation of well, you're, baseball you're, you're fans. You're talking in. about a need, and, and uh, there was an article recently that only 7% of the Major League Baseball players playing in the Major League now are African American, which is a historic low. So if we can create reasons to play ball when, when you're a kid and create uh, uh, fields uh, in the inner city and batting cages and get people to be excited about baseball. That's a win-win. And, and I, I want to ask you lastly, because I know you never take this for granted, how much it means to the organization that you get the support from the fans. When you put these asks out there, they rally, don't they? They do. I mean, you, you, and I can, I can just remember when, uh, you know, when there was that uh, that problem in the Dominican and, and people came to the ballpark and, and supported that because it was a crisis and it needed our fans support. Our fans are so generous. And, you know, every year the Jimmy Fund and the WEI Nissan Telethon raises three or four million dollars. And they come from people who are paying five dollars, you know, writing checks for five and ten dollars. It's terrific. And I think it's... Uh, I hope that they know that their money is is being put to great use. I remember putting change in one of the cans as a kid. That's you know, right. that, and that's and what it's all have, about. We still have that, yeah. those boxes here. The grassroots uh, support is unbelievable. Congratulations all on right. the first well, 15 thank years. Thank you, thank you to everybody who supports the the Red Sox and the Red Sox Foundation. Nice to be able to talk about here. It's a Foundation Friday, if you will, with the chairman of the Red Sox, Tom Warner. We will continue. Tim Wakefield obviously has been a champion of the Red Sox Foundation.